It's my pleasure to introduce uh, Ivan Nozov. Um, as we've heard already, uh, there's an opportunity for everybody to do more, but Ivan, as an engineer who had worked in the oil and gas industry, has come back to Moscow, to his hometown, and is now working with PepsiCo, and he's working in the Human Resources Department. And Ivan has recognized that as well as NGOs, individuals, and others, that employers have a hugely important role to play in the delivery of health and well-being, but also to make sure that employers help to acknowledge the existence of stress and mental health, to identify those conditions in their employees and colleagues, and then support them to be well and to have an environment in which they can bring their best self every day. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce Ivan Nozov. Hi everyone, my name is Ivan and I'm working in PepsiCo living in Moscow. Mental health issues such as anxiety, depression and stress tend to begin at a much earlier age compared to physical illnesses. Yet, they are easily overlooked in the young, and with initial treatment being frequently delayed for many years, mental health issues become a direct cause of one million annual deaths from suicide. But why is that happening? Individuals tend to hide their mental health issues to appear strong and well in daily life, so they are not excluded from important activities, social interactions, and of course their jobs. Worse, many think treatment is not effective, and the problem will go away by itself after some time. As a result, mental health disorders often go unrecognized and untreated, damaging person's health and career. Global business has a role to play in overcoming the mental health issues, and good reason to do so. Only in the US it is estimated over $100 billion per year are lost for poor mental health. Just imagine if that amount of money could be invested in keeping in place health instead. It is a hard job to change existing trends, and more than that, it will take effort and time. In PepsiCo, I am leading the promotion of well-being agenda for Europe. We pay a lot of attention to the well-being of employees with belief that we are the ones responsible for the healthier future of our people while driving performance with purpose. The plan I have in mind is to have a holistic framework to assist people with mental and other health-related rela issues. We are at very very early stage of developing the concept, and at first we need to carefully raise awareness, then promote preventive measures, and follow it with efficient treatment while utilizing already existing tools like medical insurance. This year I established the Healthy Living Champions Network, which consists of passionate individuals responsible for promoting healthy living across Europe. Champions belong to various business functions and are the main go-to resource between headquarters, local management, and employees. Now the network allows us to leverage toned-down initiatives with one global agenda. It has reached 30 countries and 45,000 of our employees, with communication channels tailored to local language and different cultures across Europe. Based on the network, this year we've launched a resilience campaign called Find Your Balance. Campaign included online communications, printed materials like a newspaper or information boards, and of course, variously local driven activities. The ultimate message of the campaign, that, of the campaign was that it's actually okay to be stressed. Stress can be observed and dealt with. Under this umbrella, we offer advice to our employees to acknowledge their own self, be cautious of stress symptoms like anger or sadness, to relieve stress, just breathe in and breathe out. Take breaks from your work, do some sports, do some yoga. The overall campaign had a great success in countries such as Russia, Germany, Ukraine, and Turkey. To supplement campaign, we have conducted eight stress management workshops with great engagement from employees. For instance, in Moscow, when we announced uh, the health lectures, stress management lectures run by a renowned doctor, within one day, all the sessions we planned were overbooked three times. So we basically had to create, organize additional se sessions just to answer already existing demand. <coughs> but in some countries, in CIS countries, for instance, like Kazakhstan or Georgia, we are not able to have a full reach. A stigma against mental health is higher due to cultural differences. 
It is important to raise awareness slowly, step by step, to make it able to talk about mental health. Right now in PepsiCo, we have a target to bring our program in countries to certain basic levels while offering general advice on mental health. The next steps would be to promote the recognition of mental health issues in workspace, especially your own and of your colleagues, while at the same time building an, an attitude that to treat mental health issues the same as physical illness. Global business can help much more, much, much more than it seems. As we're in place, it can reach families, friends, and colleagues, and whole communities. The influence of global business could help to make a real shift in reducing stigma and closing the treatment gap of mental health issues across the globe. This has a huge role to play, and the positive change might be reached by consistently promoting and involving ourselves in a bigger, larger agenda and sustainable development goals, namely good health and well-being. Thank you.